Today I'm going to do a review of the Heisen Surui Tura. This is not gonna be like a super uh, deep review, I'm just gonna talk about the, the things I like about it and the things I don't like about it as much. So I'm gonna start with the things I like and well this is my first clear color version kit I had built. And I really think that the clear color parts really make it look... Uh, it adds a little bit more of detail because you can see like the details of the like the inner frame which it doesn't really have inner frame but you can see like the details in the interiors of the part of the interior of the parts of the so it kind of adds a little bit of extra details which kind of make it looks better uh, so i think for like this kind of high grade kit the clear color version it really make them look a little bit better this thing is very big here's we have the side-by-side -side comparison with the new Gundam, which is a, a slightly taller than average Gundam. And this thing just looks way bigger than this. Here we have the Sasabi, which is a pretty big suit. and It looks small. I mean, it's it's definitely shoulder. I mean, it's a little bit more... <laughs> this one is a bit more bulky. But uh, yeah, it looks small compared with this one. This one is just way too tall, I think. This is one of the biggest uh, high-grade kits. Only uh, like, I'm not sure if they're 19 years bigger than this. Uh, probably it's larger. And only like the 19 year and maybe the Penelope and like the Psycho Gondon. There's better few high-grade kits that are bigger than this one. They decided to include a transparent, also the uh, transparent base, which in the original one, the, the base I think it's black, so it kinda so it doesn't look like so out of the place because the base is, is actually uh, transparent and you had a bunch of extra parts with this kit because this kit um, they include the runner from the from the wound boot and the hasten 2 which means that you kind of have enough parts for to make like a semi-transparent haze M2 or wound boot if you want to. You have the head, the parts from the leg, I think you had that you had two set of those. And you had also this is from the legs and there's few parts that are missing, like the arms and but you had the legs and the the body and the head and so yeah you can almost make uh, a, like a semi-transparent wombo or white hassle too which is uh, I think it's nice I'm not like super fan of the fans all set up but <laughs> I used to think that this thing just looks so over the top and ridiculously like over designed it just who like to have uh, but there are a few, part, uh, few things of this kit I don't like too much the, the the plastic is not like the best plastic to to cut and to clean it, I try not to play too much with this because I know the I have the wombo and the, the the hands are very small and weak for this this laser this rifle cloth thing so the joint width is, is, is just a tiny peg and the hands are going to eventually get uh, loose. But there's a problem that comes from the wombo. It's not like exclusive for this kit. You have some weird articulation for the transformation, but like not that useful. <laughs> the arms are like two kind of arms. You have like the wombo, the wombo arms inside like some other, a like, second bigger arms is kind of weird and you had this crazy articulation on the shoulders but that's more for the transformation i think i had to remove the extra part to show the so you have like the shoulder can move like completely to like this it doesn't even look natural but you can do this uh, this thing is too a little bit too heavy, and I think this is gonna get loose too. And you probably, are, I probably are gonna have to glue this the two parts. Parts of the Furu Dodo are just the connection is just not very strong. It's just 
a little bit small for what this thing is. So uh, I know sh I think I probably had to glue those two eventually. So if all the they will probably get loose. And yeah, another thing is well, the 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 lead. This thing can barely stand if you don't. Well, if it's not on the base, the legs has like this uh, kind of uh, stand that allows him to. You can extend this thing a little bit, so it kind of it helps it to stand without the base a little better. But it's like you don't want to touch it, or it just going to fall. Uh, right now it doesn't matter because it's on the base, I don't want to take it off from the base. I think it can be extended just a little bit. This part, uh, the parts of the, the armor here of the legs kind of block the, uh, any articulation of the leg. The the legs are very weak. Okay, this thing just fall. But this thing is just, this is the, 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 the bot uh, for armor from the Wumbo. This thing just always things to fall so the legs can move if they had this a good amount of articulation but uh, they are pretty weird because of the transformation which I wasn't planning to do it because I didn't get this kit for the transformation I just the transformation requires extra parts and it takes like, no, you know, maybe like 20 minutes to transform it. <laughs> so the legs have all sorts of weird articulation. You can actually, there's like extra pair of legs inside. Like this is the legs of the original Wumbo. So it has like double pair of legs. Okay, just this is just for, so I'm gonna show the leg, it's like, you have this part, and you have like the second leg. The second leg is here, and this thing can like extend and like rotate. But this is for the transformation, I believe. That this thing, but this is not really that useful for like policy. So yeah, this is quite heavy, and. Yeah, the thing is this part and the this part of the the skirt armor kind of just block a little bit of the movement. So this thing is not gonna do like dynamic poses with this legs. But I mean, also they are super heavy and really just not that great for posing. This is a high grade kit and. It comes with some ugly stickers. I didn't even apply the stickers that are supposed to be on this rifle and this one. I just applied the ones that are like the green ones. Oh, this already loose. So the sticker doesn't look any good with maybe the exception of like the eyes. I think it's not very color accurate. Uh, you, you're supposed if you want this thing to be called accurate, you're supposed to paint like the fingers red, which is kind of these tiny details of the fingers are supposed to be red. And there's a lot of like uh, tiny yellow parts that are not yellow on this thing, even if you actually have like a a bit of yellow runner, but not all the parts are like color accurate. Yeah, you're gonna have to paint this this thing if you want it to be like more color accurate. So now problem is the parts of the voodoo are just way too heavy and it's just not capable of actually holding the so you can actually put this thing here and try to attach this in a like in a shooting position but this thing is not gonna hold like for like a very long time I'm gonna try to do the same with the other one I tried to I tried to post it this way to take some pictures and well it was just too heavy. It doesn't even feel right like the way it just. So I think yeah this is about right. Just that this is just too heavy. It's just too large. And even if it's just horror, it doesn't have anything inside. It's just too large. 
So it looks kind of awkward, the angle of this thing. They just kind of like, it, it doesn't really hold it very well. Well, this thing doesn't have much articulation. It only has, it can't move like, so it has here, one join another, and it has this so one, two, two, has two points of articulation, but they can only move on like one, one axis. This thing is also attached to the shoulder, so you cannot read. The only thing you can do is actually just move the shoulder, just rotate the shoulder. But this one doesn't work that well. Uh, even if it's like it's cool, but I think like it just this thing just fall a little bit. And but I recommend this thing. Well, depending on the flies, because this is a uh, this is supposed to be like uh, I mean even. Uh, not just this clear version, but the original one uh, is, is P Bandai. This one is on like uh, event exclusive and also like uh, Golden Base. But uh, if you live in a place when there's nothing of that, so I think you're gonna have to buy it from like resellers and it's gonna be way more expensive so probably doesn't worry because it's just a high grade with like not that much detail and limited articulation i paid for this one around like 60 to like 65 dollars which was was like almost the same as the normal one i'm not sure i think i paid like five or ten dollars more but it was pretty cheap i mean uh relatively cheap so i didn't pay, like all oh, pay for this but if this were if this thing were like over seventy dollars, uh, I don't think this thing would worth it uh, because you can get like uh, you can get the uh, master grade and like and a uh, VR grade. You can get the the high new Gondan and maybe the the uh, the Sion, the RG Sion or something like that, and way cheaper than this. And those are pretty much better than this, so it's kind of for the people who really like the design or for the people who are like into the, the manga of FS website. Uh, overall, I think it's a it's a it's a very impressive high grade. It looks it's gonna look good in my collection. Uh, uh, I think like I don't have anything like this, so it's it's gonna. I, I'm, and most of my Gondings are just like high grades and, and arches. I don't really have uh, almost any master grade because mostly for the space. So this thing is gonna look pretty good in, in, in my shelf. Um, but so I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, I wish this thing were like something that people just can buy normally and not just like P1 Die and uh, uh, Gonda Vase exclusive or whatever. So I think that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Uh, I can't see anything.